Hey Shook, welcome back to Nisa Girls Hero. So we're here to do Virgo's Eclipse reading. <laughs> Virgo's Eclipse reading, okay? I'm going to look at the recent past, the current energy, as well as the um, energy that the Eclipse is bringing in, as well as the overall. Okay, now if the reading does not resonate, don't try to make it. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's see. What do we have for Virgo? What is this eclipse bringing in for Virgo? For Virgo, Spirit, thank you so, 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 so much. Okay. For Virgo. Here we go. Virgo, your overall energy, the chariot. Okay? You're moving forward, all right? Moving away from maybe an air sign, okay? Or you're making a decision to like heal, to recover. You're taking a break from something. You're moving forward. It's going to be a cancer that you're moving away from. Recent past, king of wands, okay? Took some action. Maybe. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Current energy, ten of pentacles. You're thinking long haul. You're thinking the future. You're thinking marriage, commitment, legacy. Immediate future with the eclipses bringing in. Three of Pentacles. Getting on the same page. Working together. Harmony. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. All right. For Virgo Spirit. Clarify these messages for Virgo. For Virgo. Okay. Let's look at that recent past energy, the King of Wands. What action did you take in the recent past? Why is the King of Wands here? Okay. That was a Hermit energy. Four swords. Okay. Now, okay. This wrap. Right. So, the Hermit energy fell out on the floor. Okay. But what it's telling me is that you you thought before you acted. Okay. Um, you were thinking about healing a situation, healing something. Okay. But with the Nine of Wands energy and the Ace of Swords, you were like, no. I've been through way too much with that situation. Um, and I feel like you gained clarity for after you thought, okay, um, about what action to take. Why is the King of Wands here in the recent past for Virgo? Okay. You might have thought about, okay, healing something with a King of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay. But the Seven of Wands energy and the Tower, something could have occurred. To make you stand your ground on taking a break from someone or not healing the situation or um, keep, keeping your energy away from a person. Okay. Yeah. And this could have caused them to communicate like, oh, I want long term. I want a commitment. I want to be with you. I want to get married. I want, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, there's this change. But in the current energy, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like because you stood your ground in the recent past to take a break from a situation, that's when you got this sudden change, this uh, different energy. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in the current energy for Virgo? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone who was procrastinating. Okay. Yeah. Is now saying that they want the long haul Ten of Pentacles. Okay. This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, all right? They're expressing how happy you make them, okay? Expressing love, yep. They want to give equally to the connection, Six of Pentacles, okay? Yep. If they were in and out, inconsistent, you can depend on them. They, they hold, you know, they're not doing that anymore, okay? Yep, they've had time to reflect, Seven of Pentacles, okay? And they want to work on things. They want to move things forward with the Eight of Pentacles. Yep. This Eight of Wands energy, they could be even like trying to move things forward quickly. Okay. And with this Fool energy, they're just ready to take a leap. Okay. They want commitment. They see a future with you. Okay. Yeah. You're their soulmate. All right. So in the immediate future, got to get on the same page. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. 
So, in the immediate future, we have the Three of Pentacles. This is getting on the same page. But this Empress energy, Taurus, Libra energy, this is about progressing something forward, moving something forward. That's what the overall energy is, chariot, okay? Someone's making a decision with the Queen of Swords energy. This can be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius because of how they feel about you, okay? Because of how much they care, how much they love you, okay? Yeah. They're seeing with the high, the um, Hangman energy how another party, this can be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, Cause them to avoid, you know, this relationship. Cause them to um, not make a decision, a concrete decision about this relationship. Okay? Yeah. Cause them to be in and out. Or I believe that everyone has, you know, a mind of their own. Okay? And um, then necessarily cause them to be in and out, but influenced. Okay? Yeah, but they're making a clear decision now. They may be apologizing to you in the immediate future to, you know, help bring about this, getting on the same page. Okay, why is the Three of Pentacles here in the immediate future? Yep, with the Hermit energy. Okay, they've had time to think. Okay, maybe when you put breaks on it, like, no, I'm dead serious. I'm, I need a break. Give me my space. Please. Respectfully. <laughs> yes, and then you held back for the connection and they want to do forget it. This is engagement. Like, I want you forever. Forever, I say. <laughs> So, with the overall energy being the chariot, this is about moving forward. Why is the chariot here as the overall energy for Virgo? Why is the chariot here as the overall energy for Virgo? Yeah. Because you said, I'm out of here. Five of Pentacles. I left this person by themselves. By themselves? <laughs> by themselves. Okay. Yes, you left the building, Eight of Cups. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And with this Page of Pentacles, this is when the offer came in. Okay, yeah. Which is being fulfilled. Someone stepping up and maturing and taking ownership of how they've been a lying ass. Okay? <laughs> and moving things forward. Now things are getting back into play. Back into harmony. Peace. <laughs> They want to work things out. They want to progress things forward. Stay serious. I had time to think because you said, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You stood your ground. And that's why you're getting results. Well done. Well done. <laughs> okay. Here you go. For Virgo, spirit. For Virgo. Mm -hmm. They say, I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah. Bottom of the deck says, I'm... I want to feel that way again. Yeah, they, they see where their happy place is. I want to feel that way again. I don't want to be out in the cold by myself. How can you do this to me? How could you leave me out here by myself? You know how I cook. You and I were too young. You guys could have been together when they were young and y'all were young together. Yeah, this, this could have started when y'all was just probably more immature. Okay, or more in a state of fun and, and laughed and enjoyed and wasn't nobody really thinking about long-term commitment, but you grew up. Okay, yeah, you, you matured. Okay, things could have got real. Okay, yeah. It's time for me to heal now. Okay, yeah. I feel like someone realizes they have to leave behind some people, some experiences, some... They have to change if they want to create the future that they ultimately truly do want. So that's what I have for you, Shade. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share. And subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.